Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Atelier Riza and the Funky Bunch. I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm still Lethal Feline. So, I have, uh, I have exercised my God-given right to off-screen. And, uh, man, I never did figure out the easy way to, uh... <laughs> the easy way to get to the load screen in this game. It's like they don't want you doing it. You can't just do it from settings, perhaps? It seems like this is no, where it would be. No, that would be too easy. It does seem like this is where it would be. So I'm just gonna just frickin' restart the- I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. This will get it there. This will get it done. And we get to see this lovely shot of everyone. Spoiler alert, the girl that we rescued in the forest will eventually be our friend. But they twist. But they twist. The reason we're loading, by the way, is there's some important cutscenes that JG did not want you to miss, and we are going to endure them together as a family. Enduring them really implies that uh, it's because I don't like our viewers that I want them to see these cutscenes. <laughs> We will see. We're doing it for you. We'll see. At home. The thing is, I don't remember them having been, like, specific to the story, so it could well be that there are just, like, six random things they say when traveling by boat with each other and that I won't even get the same ones that I missed uh, last time. Who knows what could happen. But when we do load again, you'll, you'll uh, be excited by the amount of, like... Um, green potions and shit that we've made in the meantime that we did not have before. I guess 10-16 would have been probably our save. Mm -hmm. I'm getting ready for you to load the uh, the most recent one, and then we go through the sequence again. I just really like that picture of all of them hanging out together. It's just so adorable. I never want to miss a chance to see it. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to go into photo mode and try to take a picture and recreate that experience when we get that girl in our party. Anyway, we're going to Sailor Moon run our way to the docks. With uh, what you referred to in one of my favorite little moments. I'm, I'm really enjoying this series so far, Lethal. And one of my favorite little moments is when uh, Rizza referred to the old wagon boat. Well, I mean, that's what, what happened, apparently. Well, I, I set up all these jokes about, like, uh, porno mags and stuff. But, like, somehow it just came back a few seconds later as the old wagon boat. Well, they gotta do an international waters. You don't know what they're, you know, what they're using out there. Oh, that's true. I was thinking we should try to make better use of our time when crossing the lake. Perhaps we could find a more efficient way to load the game too. That's a surprisingly responsible thing to hear coming from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always responsible. Don't let anyone tell you different. So what did you have in mind? Perhaps you'd like to get some exercise by helping me row? Nah, we won't be doing that. Well, I was thinking about doing a little fishing. I'm pretty good at that. Yeah, too good. You always end up pulling up these huge freaking fish. Please don't. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, but I see what you mean. No more whale sharks. Alright, never mind. We're gonna need a bigger boat. We're gonna get a bigger boat, right? This kind of scenery always makes me so hungry. I should have caught a fish. In fact, uh, in fact, some kind of fish lunch. Would a fish lunch be a worm, you suppose? Uh, I mean, <laughs> sorry. <it'd> be a... <laughs> worm, a crawfish. You know, I was thinking, we just found this boat lying around, right? Yeah, I mean, it was in the water, but we're gonna just take a boat that boat that belongs to somebody else. We can get caught right away. This one clearly belongs to nobody. Still, it'd be nice if we could build a boat of our own. What's our next quest? I guess we could try to alchemize a boat. If someone discovered it, it'd be hard to come up with an excuse for it. Wait, do you need an excuse this... to own a boat? You live on an island. No, it'd be weird. No one would believe us. Yeah, maybe it's best if we just put that idea on hold for now. Tell what do you want to do? What suggestion has anyone had that you're not like, we shouldn't do that? I just want to lay in bed and sulk all day. We shouldn't lay in bed all day. That's a bad idea. I don't want to do that either. There are a lot of these things. I'm sick of rowing. Can't we get a proper boat? 
All the ones at the port have sails and everything. I feel like they'd be way faster. Come on, just think about it. If we had a ship that big, they'd catch us in no time. Who is that? Besides, the three of us couldn't handle a ship like that. We'd need an entire crew. <laughs> Wait a second. What are the two of you currently doing on this boat? Look, <laughs> fine. I guess we'll have to rely on this hunk of junk for now. They're making sure it doesn't, you know, just float in the space. I wonder how far this road actually goes. And this should have it's a... like how many legs? <laughs> approximately. Like, the center of the Tootsie Pop. Yeah. Ooh, night meshing. Ooh, that was close. I messed up and Mom ended up catching me. Yeah, she's a pretty formidable foe. It's all over once she catches you. No mercy. And I think she's getting stronger, too. It's so hard to sneak out these days, and these ass weapons are getting harder every time. Yeah, I feel sorry for you, what with your married, non-drunk folks. <laughs> How did you manage to get her off your back? Well, I said I was gonna go help Dan, and I didn't have to tell him anything, obviously, because Dan uh, he has no responsibility. I've never had a problem getting Dan on my side. He's nice and easy. I almost feel bad for your parents having to do with a daughter like you. Hey, shut up and just keep rowing, Robar. <laughs> Ooh, Robar. Hope springs eternal that I'll figure out a way to uh, return to room, menu, swing. The ultimate test of JG's gameplay ability. Will he figure out a faster way? Well, I mean, if you're see if you're seeing something, I don't see shit. So <laughs> settings, settings complete. Settings complete. Default. Is there any other settings on this page below map rotation? Gameplay. Like, does it oh well, maybe. No. Nope. Nope. Oh. It's only one thing to do. Blow up the game. <laughs> well, maybe they'll have uh, put, included that as a quality of life increase in uh, Atelier Rizzer 2, Secret Fairy, and Secret Other Crap. I also learned recently there are other Atelier uh, games in the series that are made mm -hmm. for earlier systems. I forget yep. what the heck that was called. There's something called Atelier Sophie, uh, which is similar. It's like an adorable little girl and her adorable little friends doing alchemy adventures. But I think yeah, I think there's like it's a it's a series about alchemy, but they just switch up uh, adorable protags. Uh, you know, I don't know that don't one is meant for kids of a different age and one is more mature. I think they're all just kind of adorable adventures. Hard to say. I don't know which one this one was for for the Game Boy Advance or the DS or something, but they had like adorable isometric chibi characters mm. that really caught my eye. Well, I invite you to explore the Atelier universe, uh, of course. I didn't even know there was an Atelier universe. It snuck up on us. It's not one that has made a great effort to uh, become known in the West. I, I, I actually really... Samurai Warriors went the same way. Dynasty Warriors, they always translate in English. They translated like two Samurai Warriors games into English. They didn't do as well. So now they all come out here, but it's always with Japanese voice acting. I'm like, no, man. Call me a not a purist, but I like me a dub. <laughs> anyway, so You're we're not a purist. I'm <laughs> not a purist. So we're now at uh, Alchemie level ten with uh, just a bunch of extra crap. Uh, basically, I found that the ingredients for honey were not that frequent to come by, but the ingredients for flour are all over the place. So, and flour gives you the most alchemy points. So. I got us up to level 10 with the uh, flower. Still don't have the ingredients to actually make our own armor. And uh, in the I was say, go ahead. Ahead. Uh, the little bit of running around I've done, I haven't actually, I haven't actually figured out combat any better because most of my off screening was just wandering around, picking up shit, taking it back here, making shit out of it. And eventually, while running around fighting battles and getting inventory. I did run out of space and had to come back here and dump stuff off to a central location. So that is a thing. 
Where you do not have, like, infinite pockets on her little biker shorts that she's wearing. Yeah, I think that you'd probably have all the ingredients for flour around the farm being, you know, it's a farm. It's a farm. Shitty game called Uni. The part for those being apples just throws me off, and they're clearly some kind of chestnut animal. <laughs> So this is what JG was doing off screen. This is the demonstration of what was transpiring. I just, the honey uh, combs in particular are like, the only place I seem to find them is right here. So I always want to grab them. But no, we will in fact, uh, what the hell are we supposed to be doing right now? I think we're Try supposed to Make to a be... scythe. <laughs> make it a scythe, okay. And how are we going to I remember to that do... from the sound test. How... <laughs> how are we going to do that? Oh, there's quests I, I got done. Uh, the ones that were just kind of happened over the course of stuff. Like uh, gathering Flower. ingredients, synthesizing bombs, swinging at monsters, and winning fights. Anything that involved a little bit more, like taking care to do something specific, it's either still in process or I haven't even started yet. Our boy Tao is still lacking acuity. Mm -hmm. Poor thing. I don't want to get acuity. It sounds like hard work. <laughs> It sure does, little buddy. It sure does. Uh, so that's not where we want to be. Where are we actually going to get the... Uh... Nope. Here we go. Uh, there you go. She arrives home. The Ritza tries to sneak in unnoticed, but her mom catches her, blah, blah. Top her to now use Aquaman to create a site, so she seeks out Impel to get his advice. Okay, we're going back to talk to Impel again. Yeah, she's going to ask me how to make a scythe, and I'm going to go go to the scythe store and buy, buy one. I mean, we're living in current year. Some things are not worth wasting alchemy points on. Like making a rotisserie chicken. It sounds really nice, but you can go to the store and they literally have billions just waiting for your injection. So do it that way. They actually have bolus waiting for your injection, too. <laughs> yes, it depends on your supermarket. I think I'm heading the right way. Of course, we now have the power to look at maps and teleport, so let's consider this a leisurely tour of the town. I was going to say, I see the blue mark off in the easterly direction, so maybe. I'm only guessing that's the path of progress, that well, blue door shape thing. Well, there's another blue, like that also is a symbol that means something else. Like sometimes I find these blue things and... Okay, then never mind. That is the one that means come here to advance the story. There's a different little symbol that pops up. I guess it's not blue. But these little, uh... I really don't know what to call it. But like on the far right, we've got one that's gray. And it's it's something... I don't know what the heck they represent. But I guess maybe later in the story we can interact with them. They look like ruins of the ancient uh, War Garble Society that uh, Tao and, uh, and Pell are interested in. No idea. As far as I know, the icon that's blue currently is a, a door indicating a transition. Yep. The blue, yeah, the blue ones seem to usually uh, refer to that, you know. When I said I off screen, folks, I mean like an hour or so. <laughs> Maybe a 90 minutes. Not, I have not had like this huge. I am now an expert on the game. <laughs> Lethal, allow me to educate you on things that we hadn't already figured out. It wasn't like when I looked at uh, Full, Me Full Metal Furies today and I saw Zerf had 15 hours. I'm all, what the hell? <laughs> He must have left it on overnight. I think he's trying to break you. Like, you were the first one who went into, like, I'm going to off-screen mode. I, I I, spent, like, I put, like, 15 minutes into, all right, I'm going to win this single-player challenge without everyone else just, like, <laughs> watching me fail and making me feel bad. Hey, pal, will I be able to use alchemy to make a scythe? No, now get out! A scythe? What would you need a scythe for in the current era? I want to become Death Incarnate! No. Oh. My mom wants me to help out on the farm, so, you know... Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> like Lethal said, why don't you just buy one? It's like he's played this game before or something. Actually, this is a good chance to teach you a little ac <laughs> alchemical trick. It's to make gold out of nothing. So, so like, yeah, this is... 
And please, like, tell me if you just went ahead and bought this game yourself and played I, ahead. I didn't. <laughs> this, I didn't. I'm just... <laughs> that was the logical part. thing, and it is where we're going. Well, uh, allow me to teach you a little Jedi mind trick. Just tell your mother that you've helped on the farm and do this hand gesture. Oh, or I'll teach you how to make pocket sand. You can throw it in your face and escape. Ooh, trick! I like tricks! I don't think you're ready to start making your own scythes or other recipes, but you can modify existing ones. Modify re recipe? You mean like take more of those recipes that you gave me and make it something stronger? Or something shittier. Well, not quite. In alchemy, modifying is a way to create something totally new. So you have a recipe for a baseball bat. What we're going to do is slap a machete on there with some duct tape and wow, you have a scythe. It's that easy. Alchemy. <laughs> Bam. I, I have here a recipe for beef wellington and you are going to add one ingredient and you're going to make a B-52 bomber. <laughs> it's just that simple. Officially, it's referred to a recipe morph. I don't make these terms. They're in the <laughs> alchemy glossary. That's the official name, but we all just call it Fred. <laughs> Tutorial Learning Recipes The first step to synthesizing is learning recipes. And one important aspect about recipes is the recipe morph, which occurs via synthesis. If you fulfill the recipe morph conditions of a material loop during synthesis, you can create a new recipe. Recipe morphs for material loops require materials outside of the normal recipe. These materials must first be gathered or synthesized to create the new recipe. A recipe morph may also contain retain parts of its former design while still becoming a new recipe. If a material loop has an available recipe morph, it will display an icon in the recipe list. If you see this, you should try to figure out what materials you need and what the new recipe might be. The base recipe needed for recipe morphs can usually be found in books for sale in various shops. They can also be found in treasure chests or earned as the story progresses, so keep your eyes peeled. You are going to want to avoid flawed, recessive recipes. Using this book, you, you can make a scythe by combining an ingot with a large bow. The fuck Don't you can? <laughs> <laughs> I just told you that you can. You just have to believe. You can get a large bone from much, <laughs> most large animals. Get tail meat and... We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, you can get soft meat and an animal bone and combine it with uh, an ocean hat. I see, so if I get a giraffe, it'll be a really big sight. And that's a recipe morph, okay. Yes, giraffe necks are made of one incredibly lengthy bone. I was thinking the premier, but sure we can try that too. Thank you, Ampel. Well, I'm gonna give it a try right now. It's like the idea of a big old neck with a <laughs> fucking blade on it. Yes. <laughs> Even a common pot. I I've talked to you about I think this it was before. The same one, yeah. Yeah, cookies or whatever, candy, whatever it was. I don't really have a whole lot of a character, do I? I only talk to Lent. Get out of here, Harlot. You call me Harlot? Yes, that's what I said. Oh, you know what? Check the map. Yeah, so check the map and say, okay. So we are being sent off to fight. I was like, oh, we can go back to our alchemy zone. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, we don't have a large bone. I don't know where we're getting an ingot either. You must find Lent first. Wait. You must construct additional Lents. Hey, Lent, I need your large bone. I've been waiting for you to say that for so long. I need to make it into a weapon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad told me there'd be days like this. Then he passed out drunk. I always thought it was just one of his ramblings. It's a nice looking town here at the... The mill in the background and the mm -hmm. purple sky. It is it is like one of the most adorable settings ever. Oh, so we're being told to go back to Riz's house. Like, I could have come here. Yeah, whatever. If I'd known this is where we were being led, like, there's a single button press that gets us there. It's part of the journey, JG. Yeah. Come on. Well, we got to enjoy the 
the purpleness of the sky. Grim materials refined. Oh. I learned how to make an ingot, a cloth, a polish powder. I believe that's Polish powder. Oh okay, no, it's, prob it's, it's probably Poland. not. It's not. Polish powder. We're in my room. Alright, so there's the ingot. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a honey recipe that we do. And flour makes all sorts of crazy bullcrap. Bronze Eisen. Bronze Eisen. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> So we need an ingot, so can we make that now? Wow. Amrite ore, ore and fuel, it looks like we can. We got plenty of that. One of the few things we could have mined from that one place. So... Cobernite. Or we can come over here. I... Like, my, in my off-screening, I was just using the auto feature. On-screen, I feel compelled to try to figure this out. Uh, well, I see the large... I see it actually over to the right. So if you see it, it says recipe all the way to the right. And it has the large bone and the scythe right there. Oh, so we want to we wanna be moving in that direction then. So... It might be... It might not actually be a good thing until we actually have the bone. Well... Unless it'll just unlock the recipe after we make the ingot, I don't know. Yeah, like I feel like I feel like if we had the bone, we'd probably be ahead of the game, but it doesn't seem like it would hurt to take a shot at it here. Scrap. Let's paper. just put an egg on it. Yeah, <laughs> or some, whatever. Yeah, the fruit. We have more fruit than anything else. Oh, it does it does have to accept the thing? Ah. All right. Well, there you go. But we have large bones already. Well, I was I was getting them with drops and not realizing it. Okay, so let's put the best quality large bone available. Yeah, we're gonna farm with the best of them. Reaper like side recipe site. has changed. Execute synthesis. Yes. Sure. Critical, Critical healing. The old healing side. It's like Sashomaru has that in Inuyasha. He's chops you through the midsection and heals whatever was wrong with you. Reaper's <laughs> side. My indigestion is gone. Thanks, Sashomaru. <laughs> Reaper's side. Not just a side. Reaper's side. Woohoo! I made a side. That recipe morph the impel showed me really did the trick. I might have a real knack for this. Oh, well, okay. So uh, in reading it, I was thinking, oh, we got to be really looking for all these different tweaks on recipes. It's like, nope, some recipes will just have a thing that says recipe. And if you make your way over to that spot, you unlock a recipe. Understood. Mm -hmm. I think I could use this to get my hands on all kinds of stuff. Not just to use on the farm. I should be able to expand my alchemy scope and do all sorts of amazing things. <laughs> Meanwhile, this Vix Vapor Rub is really clearing up my sinuses. I can finally breathe again. I'm not sinusing. Tutorial Gathering Tools. Equipping specialized tools will let you gather materials in the field. You'll only have your staff at first, but as you discover new tools, you'll unlock new gathering methods. While in the field, hold that button and that button to switch your tool. You can also tap this button. A single gathering point can yield different materials depending on what gathering tool you use. Oh great, this, this makes off-screening even more complicated. You might even get your hands on something completely unexpected. There are lots of different I got, I got a finger! Wait a minute, uh-oh. <laughs> oh wait, I think I know where that came from. Owie, owie, owie! Each one can gather different materials, so try to collect them all. Pokemon. As you improve your alchemy, you may even learn to craft tools that can do more than one thing. Use all the tools at your disposal to fully explore each and every area. You can pour hundreds of hours into this, and the sequel, and the third game are already out. Alright, so... 
Oh, t okay, you come here to go to the title menu. Got it. <laughs> we And we can actually just load from that screen, too. Oh, Roll man. out the banner, everybody. We did it in the first video. Mind blown. Although, honestly, if you're not already here, I think it is just, like, warping here takes about the same time, possibly, maybe. I don't know. What did we get new there at the, uh... We got the Reaper Scythe, so now we can actually well, we got do the scythe, work yeah. in the field. All right, that's what it was. It was telling us we had the scythe. Okay, use the scythe to harvest Kirken fruit and give at least five to Carl. I feel like I should be, uh... Well, we've got other things we could mess with, but let's advance the story. Like, we could be making cloth, because that was the thing stopping us from crafting any of the armors. And I'm going to say this is telling us how to get to Kirken Fruit. Yeah, it turns out we don't live right next to the field. Secluded farm. Near the field. Go here. Talk like this for undisclosed reasons. All right. Very ah. Good. Our instincts were correct. The farm was the farm. My God, how did they do it? <laughs> I tell you, I got a lot of strategy game experience, Lethal. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's not yes. End photo mode because I. Ah, here we go. I actually do want this now. Um, hold L one and toggle. Oh, there we go. You forgot those buttons to, to actually do things? Yeah, but they're not working anyway, so... Maybe we have to be in the field first. Alright, so now let's try, like, just tapping L1. Uh, that is what I'm doing. Did you... You left the scythe back at home. Well... It's, it's in the box. <laughs> or we could talk to Dad. <laughs> no, I think... Oh, I guess we could talk to Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh yeah, it was me. Yeah. Oh, Rizza. Oh, the Rizza. Are you here to help me with the harvest, you little rapscallion, you? Oh, I didn't have you any of the jambi. Oh, that's right, because you advanced the quest. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay. This is like... But this... You think it's just not an equipable item. It's just a thing that, like, you would have. Yeah, it's an, you it's would an, have it. It's an important yeah. item. If you had, in fact, put it in your pockets. Did... <laughs> Are we sure we made it and it's not like you unlocked the recipe and don't have one? I thought it said we made one. Well, then let's try to make one then. Oh, for crying out loud. Nothing that looks like a scythe is appearing. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> discard. I don't want to discard it. <laughs> oh my goodness. The next great mystery for JG to unlock. Well, like, how would you? <laughs> I don't understand the inventory system at all because you come to this thing, you can't, you can't put things in or take things out, and we have four thousand five hundred and thirty-five empty slots. So clearly, we're carrying around like we only need one side in the entirety of the game. I, I, I think. All right, now our container. Still has 4,500 slots. Can you, can you equip it? Maybe we do have to equip it. Oh, put it in a ring slot. <laughs> well, it just equips that. Hmm. Oh, gathering tools. There we go. So... <laughs> It ain't in there. Okay. Maybe if we were in our room, we could place it on there. The room has special, you know, special properties. It really does. Yes. Okay. Ah. We have to be in our room because we put it. We automatically put it in that uh, trunk, and then didn't equip it. And oh, look at the incredible powers that I have now with the L1 button. The awesome power of the side has been unlocked, Lethal, and the world will never be the same. All right, folks. Thank you for your patience. We love you. We'll see you next time with more of Atelier Rissa.
And we'll show you how the uh, cut HM finally works in this Pokemon. Bye-bye. <laughs>